This is an ultrasound study of a 55 years old male. He has come with uh, severe testicular pain uh, on the left side and is tender to the probe and has been referred for testicular ultrasound. Now here in view is the left testicle, the longitudinal section measuring 2.4 by 1.4 centimeter and this is the epididymis measuring 5.1 by 6.7 this is the fluid uh, seen in the left hemisocrotum posterior to the testes in this, in this scanning plan and this is the lips, this steps across the wall. So here the size of the test is, is small, the epididymis is small in size, width, and there is fluid in the uh, hemisocrotum, left hemisocrotum, here you can see. And I do see minimal is seen. on the left side. Now on the right side for comparison purpose, this is the uh, right testis in longitudinal section. Uh, just a minute, let me get a good view. Yeah, this is the right testis in longitudinal section. And uh, this is the coronal view, and now There is uh, fluid in the right hemisocrotum as well. Hydrocele is seen in this, uh, in the surrounding, the fluid is seen surrounding the right testis. And it measures. Approximately 3.7 into 2.3 centimeter. This is the right testis. This is the mediastinum testis. So, and this is the fluid surrounding uh, this uh, the right testis. So, normal in size. No calcification is seen. It is uh, no calcification was seen rather in uh, the left. Uh, now this is the uh, right testis, this is the fluid, right hemisocrotum in transfer section, left hemisocrotum in transfer section, this is the fluid, clear fluid, this is the testis, there is impression of multiple tiny calcifications now in this view, in this testis, in the left testis having irregular borders, it has irregular borders, the suprotal wall is not thick. So minimal hydronephrosis is seen in both the testes. And uh, when I move the probe, <coughs> sorry, the interior upwards and try to follow this. up to the inguinal region. Now from the inguinal region I am coming downwards. And here we are in the transfer section, the donor section, and uh, 
not only this, this cord-like structure is the spermatic cord which is thick left sided. This is the spermatic cord and you can see the thickness of the spermatic cord. It's about 3.7 into 6.4 centimeter and it's surrounded by fluid and this is the spermatic cord. This is the fluid. This is surrounding it. Spermatic cord is measuring uh, around approximately in length 3.76 centimeters and in tubercular diameter 6.4 centimeters. The thick spermatic cord is seen and uh, well, these are the findings that. These, find, these are the findings that uh, relate to the ultrasound of the uh, scrotum that uh, we have seen. We are, now this is the, I will show you uh, in the previous uh, video segment, this is the uh, epididymis, this is the right testis and this is the uh, mediastinum testis. Now you can see the uh, epididymis clearly. So, there is a bilateral hydrocele, there is small size, irregularly outlined left kidney with multiple tiny ecogenic particles in it and the thick spermatic cord is seen. Now coming towards the uh, abdominal ultrasound, as KUB is going to be a part of it, this is the urinary bladder, the urinary bladder is normal size. Uh, sorry, it, there is no stone calculus seen within it. Now this is the uh, urinary bladder, this is the prostate. Prostate is not enlarged, no significant pathology seen relating to the urinary bladder and seminal vesicle and or prostate. This is the seminal vesicle. So now let's see the kidneys. When I see the kidney, though more important is to see the left one, but you have to see the both. Now this is the right kidney and we do not see any pathology or focal lesion relating to the right kidney. This is the uh, left kidney with supreme and there is no pathology seen relating to the left kidney and supreme is normal. The hemic, and there is no chlorophyll, no focal seen in the spleen. Coming towards the paraortic region, following the aorta, there are multiple lymph nodes seen with a retroperitoneal mass. Now this is a retroperitoneal mass as uh, I am in longitudinal section, now in transfer section, midway between the epigastrium and the aorta, ah, sorry, and the umbilical cord. Now this uh, mass is, uh, this is a retroperitoneal <laughs> mass which is uh, occupying, surrounding all of the, uh, this is the mass retroperitoneal and uh, see the texture. It's a hypoechoic solid mass measuring 7.5 centimeters <coughs> in uh, and by approximately 5 centimeters and this is the aorta in the center. This is the aorta, this area. So there is a retroperitoneal mass When I move the probe towards the uh, epigastric region to evaluate the liver, this is the portal vein, and these are the endite uh, lymph nodes seen in the extrahepatic region. 
this is the portal vein this is the extra hepatic part of the portal vein and here we see two well demarcated focal lanes one measuring approximately 2.7 by 3.2 centimeter and this is hypopoic and this is epic. this is equogenic pass out the disc <coughs> and you see that there uh, this is the portal vein and uh, that the texture of the river is coarse the water is normal the portal vein is patent and there are multiple uh, tiny area, area focal areas Now this is one of them, this is the second one, this is small cystic, uh, sorry, hypopoic rounded focal area from sub-centimeter to 11 millimeter seen in spread throughout the liver parenchyma, coarse liver parenchyma, outer surface of the liver is smooth, so see the irregularity of the uh, liver parenchyma because of the interspread uh, numerous uh, hypopoic areas this is one of them now this is the region of the porta hepatis and see the uh, IVC and uh, the portal vein first of all let's focus upon the portal vein on the portal vein, this is the portal vein, extrahepatic part, this is the intrahepatic part of the portal vein, this one, and these are all extrahepatic focal lanes, and you see that uh, the liver angle, the globe of the liver is clear of any focal lanes, these are all uh, uh, focal mass lanes outside the Uh, liver extra hepatic level location this is the common hepatic artery uh, in between these two focal lanes now what is the status of the corded lobe now you see this is the left lobe of the liver in longitudinal section this is the left hepatic vein and see the margins are blurred this is the ligamentum venosum this is the corded lobe and This is the focal lien, which is separate from the uh, corded lobe of the liver. However, there is, uh, if these are these focal lanes with common hepatic artery uh, in between this one and the second one are in an extra hepatic location. This is the pancreas, this is the body of the pancreas, splenic vein, and see this is a another lymph node in the retroperitoneal location. This is the uh, splenic vein, uh, sorry, this is the splenic vein, this is the spirit mesenteric vein, and uh, there is no focalian seen relating to the pancreas by itself. So this is the head of the pancreas, this is the photosuplenic conference, and uh, coming downwards these are the lymph nodes which are elevating the uh, superior mesenteric artery called the nutcracker sign now yeah, this is the aorta and these two areas which you are seeing are the nine lymph nodes and here is the superior mesenteric artery which is emanating from the aorta and it's being elevated by these two large lymph nodes in this location along with the renal section. See, again, same picture. Uh, 
Uh, this is the uh, retroperitoneal mass that I showed you initially, and uh, now so this is uh, this uh, retroperitoneal mass encases the uh, aorta from uh, encases the aorta. This is the aorta, and this is the retroperitoneal hypochoic solid mass with no internal calcification. Uh, this is a longitudinal section. Dark mass. Well, following the uh, now, this is an, another lymph node. Sorry. This is the other lymph node in the left uh, left paraiolic region. This is the lymph node. These are the ileal vessels. <coughs> So this is a case of uh, retroperitoneal mass with uh, multiple lymph nodes in the uh, extrahepatic location, paraportic para region, and uh, paracelic location, whereas the IVC is seen patent. This is the IVC, and uh, multiple tiny sub-centimeter solid areas are seen intersupred into the right row, in the right row of the liver. Uh, so, and the other, uh, there is no supplenal magali, and the testicular pathology that I showed you, uh, the patient is tender to it. Uh, and the patient is uh, extremely tender to the probe, uh, however, we saw that. Uh, so they, uh, we saw this, these these pathologies relating to the uh, okay uh, the thick spermatic cord. So this is the case of the day with multiple pathologies. Thank you very much.